On this one today, we're gonna to be talking about the analog plunger and basically the KLZ25 and PC stuff. PC stuff is pretty straightforward. You get a PC, do your thing. I have mine decased and I do have three fans coming in, basically bringing air into the cabinet. PC, I can't help too much. Just keep in mind on my personal build, I am running a 2060, uh, RTX 2060. I have a cheap MSI motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM, and an i5 with 500 gigabyte SSD drive for quick boot. Again, PCs on your part, but the main thing real quickly is to kind of look at the KLZ. The KLZ really the only thing I kind of regret as far as my cabinet is that this right here should really be in the front of the cabinet. I have mine in the back of the cabinet. Um, definitely want to move it to the front. I should actually have the whole PC in the front and then the doffling stuff in the back. But you live and you learn. Basically the KLZ is pretty simple. If you do no basic soldering, you could knock it out. It's not that difficult. But basically all these wires you see here are basically button inputs and a ground going to the front of the cabinet for the arcade grounds on the micro switches. Pretty straightforward to be brutally honest. The only big thing I do wanna make a big deal about is the potentiometer. I'll put the link down below. Um, getting this kind of working, you kind of see how I have it. I did it like a ghetto rig. It's on an L bracket. It's actually two of them because it's pretty long. But um, getting this thing to work was a very trial and error process. So basically what we do need on this potentiometer, there's three inputs. Um, you have two basically inputs that need to go to the KLZ. Um, it's two separate inputs. And then there's also a ground here. It was very, it was a trial and error to get and figure out which one was what. But basically I have two inputs on the top and then the ground. Getting this thing to stay was a pain in the ass. Uh, basically, if you take a look at my zip tie, it is literally being held on the bottom. There you go. Of that. So it is kind of putting a little bit of stress on that board. But that was the only way to get that thing held in place there was no other way um but again very responsive i'm able to yank on this as you can see it's not going nowhere and again definitely worth it be sure to get this one here big deal also that i did literally took a small bit drilled a hole right on into the lever that's right here if my camera focused that'd be great Drill the hole here and then basically have this held up by zip ties. You could spin your plunger. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm literally spinning this. Not going to go nowhere. And again, as you can see, you don't have to worry about anything getting lost or anything falling off. So definitely highly suggest that. Basically again, from the KLZ board, there are three wires, ground, and then there's two wires, I don't know how to call it, but let's say positive and negative uh, going to this. And when you do the KLZ on the Pinscape software, it will tell you what pins you need to wire for this. So be sure you do check that out. Uh, again, the KLZ, we literally have right here, I have my arcade, there's four of these going here into the arcade buttons. Again, that's the positive on the micro switch. And then I have one negative ground, I should say. And then they're all daisy chained. So again, as far as that, it's, it's really not that difficult. Again, same thing here, basic buttons, negatives are daisy chained, just like an arcade cabinet. And then positives are going to the KLZ board. As far as the PC, motherboards, modern ones, they all have pins, um, you know, pinouts for power buttons. I'm using an actual arcade button. Basically, my motherboard has positive and negative for the actual power, and it has a positive and negative for the LED, so I am utilizing that. When the power button is hit, the LED turns on, turns on the PC. You could use any standard arcade button for that. 
And again, I have it right dead in the middle of the front. Other than that, that's really it. On my motherboard, it did not have a 7.1 surround sound. I basically got this thing for 35 bucks on eBay. Again, I'm still testing this, but I got that. And then I have the amplifiers up here. So that's all you really need, nothing crazy. And again, using Logitech speakers for the 2.1 regular sound. This one was quick because in all honesty, that's all you really need. Um, again, my only regret, and I do have slack actually with this USB. I might move it here, but that KLZ, it should actually be towards the front, I believe, uh, according to the Pinscape software. But other than that, going to the PC, three HDMIs out. I should say actually one HDMI is going to the actual TV. I did display port to HDMI wire converted, two of them. One for the back glass, one for the DMD. That is literally, that's it. And then we have one USB being connected to the 7.1 surround sound, one USB talking to the LED blinky, one USB being talking to the KLZ, and that is all. That is literally all it is. This is a quick one. Again, just really kind of showing off the plunger and the KLZ board.